Hello, so this is Wendy from、uh, Tai Chi, the Way of Life. That's where you're going to find me from Facebook, and my YouTube channel is called Wendy Chan Tai Chi. And if you would subscribe, just by clicking on the subscribe button or word at the bottom of this video, that would be really, really appreciated. Um, yeah, this is me again, trying to practice my um forms. Lots of people ask me what form I'm doing. I originally learning、um, the Yang style. This particular this particular one that I am doing forty.、Um, my favorite is forty two, and although there's only two forms different between the forty and the forty two, they are actually quite different.、Um, yeah, but.、Um, Yeah, I will. I'm sure I have made a video of me doing a 42 as well.、Um, what I've been focusing on in this video was、uh, my qua.、Um, just realised,、uh, not just realised, but able to try to execute it a little bit more is to open my my hip flexors、um, when I'm moving from. One form to the to the next, and、um, rather than moving it with the legs, with the big muscle, my quads, which I think for a long time probably been doing that, and then and then I went from leading from the, my my feet, so pulling and pushing with my feet, which was probably slightly better,、um, and then I've learned to. Actually, dri drive the movement using by sinking into my hip, my my quad, my hip flexors. So, if I was to go forward, say if I'm going forward with my, with my left leg, so I would drive with sinking into my my hip flexors on my left hand side, and then my right. Hip flexors on my quad will kind of do its own thing. Yeah, well, we will balance it out so it, it relaxes at the when it needs to be relaxed. So when I relax my hip flexors or your quad,、uh, I make a deeper connection between my tailbone and my heels on that particular side, and then. But it's also important not to put all my emphasis in that in that particular leg. Um, um, but doing my yin and yang, practicing my yin and yang, but pulling back still with my other leg. So this is what I've been working on predominantly, and、um, try my best to. Make all my movements to come from the. Because there's another thing that、um, which which I knew all along, but、um, it is quite difficult to actually execute it. Is the、um, if when so if you have lots of tension in the body, you reduces the amount of、um, range of movements. And I think I said that this morning in my streaming session. I knew that anyway, and、um, just from my general training.、Um, so the ability to actually, because a lot of the movements are coming from the trunk area. Because... Right. I don't know why my recording just stopped. So、um, I can't remember where I'm up to. So I think I was talking about. Yeah, in Tai Chi,、um, a lot of the movements are coming from the, the trunk area, and when I say hip, people swing their hip, and that's why I'm very careful. So it is the hip, but the hip then carries the entire trunk area to move along with it. So the trunk area, so a lot of the, a lot of the time, people move their hip and they leave the trunk area behind, so waist up. They just kind of left it behind, so that's why I always say it, you move from your trunk rather than your hip to stop people 
swinging from the hip, and then you see the knees also twisted as well. So it is the hip because when you make the connection between your of your hip flexors or your quad with your um, um, more like deeper into your、uh, heels, then you are able to rotate more with your trunk. It moves around more, creating those circular movement of the body rather than L shape movement. I think. Um, as a beginner, you you tend to see people kind of move in an L-shaped movement. I don't know whether that makes sense. So、um, because they're not moving from their trunk,、um, or they're just like kind of twisting their hips, which isn't really ideal because then it means one side of your hip flexors is tight enough, at least if not both.、Um, So what I've been working on is that、um, when I'm moving forward, I relax, I open that hip flexors more, and then it means I can sink. So I make a deeper connection between the the tailbone and my heel on that side of my of that side of my body, while at the same time, because I'm using my hip rather than my quads, driving forward. So my other leg. Is still pulling back the opposite way. Does that make sense?、Um, so yesterday I had a lesson with my mentor, and、um, and I've forgotten about this completely. And it was really nice of him to remind me. So you know we always talk about this yin and yang, and with the with the lifting from the crown and then sinking down into our. To our dantian、um, uh, with our, you know, rooting. So you've got a yin and yang there. But also when, and I said, you know, when I was、um, moving forward, I relax as my see my left leg, and I'm pulling back with my right leg. So I've got yin and yang there. And and my mentor reminded me that、um, what about the body? The body needs that as well. So you haven't got all the force going any one direction. And I thought, oh wow, I've forgotten about that completely. So that was really, really valuable.、Um, so yeah, three things I'm focusing on. Right, I'm still trying to drive my muscles with my body because it's 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 much more fluid. But I'm still doing that. So that means, and then that means my trunk area can move more.、Uh, that means I will be doing less of my abs.、Um, Probably keeping it really still and hardly any movement because、um, you know, I can do all that and not really need to move. And I still got a little bit of time, so that's what that's 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 that one. And、um, and I'm also trying to work on yeah the you know counterbalancing my my energy so that I can work on all the way. Same amount going the opposite direction, or at least some to start off with. Um. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about my talk for the sake of talking. I think. And、uh, and if you if you haven't subscribed already, if you would, that would be lovely. I have reached one thousand subscribers, and thank you, thank you very very much again for supporting me. My next goal is to reach、um, 240,000 watch minutes. So, if you would stay on and keep watching my videos rather than just watch for two minutes, which is the average watching time. No, no, no. I'm kidding.、Um, no, but that is also quite true.、Um, and that will be lovely. So, I could、uh, reach my next goal. And、um, I don't know. I yeah. I like setting myself goals, <laughs> not just in my、uh, Tai Chi practice, not just in my work.、Uh, yeah, in this as well.、Um, so、um, thank you, and I hope you have、uh, enjoyed this. And、um, not too critical, I hope.、Um, and if you find it difficult to fall asleep, maybe you can watch this. It might just bore you so much that you fall asleep.、Um, 
so enjoy the rest of them and i shall see you next time um yeah i shall keep making these videos and uh, hopefully hopefully one day i could make new forms i don't know when it will be a long time <laughs> it will be a long long time um but anyway i will keep practicing and i'm gonna go back and practice Bye.